What's up guys, it's Eli and welcome back to the channel for another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the newly released AI powered stem separation by Persona Studio One version 7. And we're going to be comparing that against Logic's very own AI powered stem separation. This is actually the second time that I am filming this video. So hopefully everything goes well and I don't have to record it again. Wish me luck. Fairly recently, just about a week ago, Personas decided to release Studio One version 7. And of course, with every new release, there's gonna be some features that controls the conversation. And to no one's surprise, that is the AI powered stem separation for Studio One. But how does that compare to Logic's very own AI powered stem separation? Let's find out. For this video, we're gonna be focusing on three aspects of this AI powered stem separation from both of these DAWs. First, we're gonna take a look at how fast can they separate the stems. Secondly, we're gonna take a look at how they handle the stems once they finish processing them, meaning like how are they organizing them. And lastly, we're gonna take a look at how they sound. Without any further ado, let's jump into the computer and let's see how the stem separation stands against each other. All right, so we're gonna start off with Studio One as it is the new kid on the block with the AI powered stem separation. So um, we're gonna go through it first and then we're gonna take a look at how Logic handles it and see which one wins in each category. For this comparison, we're gonna be taking a look at the exact same song that I used on last week's video. If you have not seen that video, be sure to check it out. It's gonna be linked down in the description. This song is a Creole song, Compa. It's called Mapu Tanquil, produced by yours truly. All right, so now let's jump right in and let's see how long it takes for Studio One to separate the stems. To access stem separation in Studio One, there's a couple ways you can do that. Uh, but the easiest way is to just hit Command U and it brings up the dialog box. And of course, we're just gonna say, okay. And now Studio One is gonna be doing its thing. So let's see how long it actually takes to process the stem separation. All right, it seems to be doing its thing and it has about 20 seconds remaining and uh, it's still going. Still going. Still going. All right, and with that, the stem separation is done. Let me zoom out here real quick. Okay, so we have all our parts. We have vocals, drums, bass, and other. Others, all the other instruments. I think it took quite a long time to actually get this done, but you know, it wasn't too crazy long. So, um, but let's see how they handled the organization. For the stem management, it looks like Studio One created a folder to handle the stem. So if you need to, if you need to minimize it so you can get it out of the way, you can do that and you can expand it so you can see what you're working with. And if we jump over to the mixer, it looks like it is a bus style folder. So you can actually do some processing on this if you needed to. Now let's jump in and see what each stem sounds like. And then of course, we're gonna compare that against Logic. Starting with the vocals. All right, so for the most part, I think it was pretty good. There is some bleeding going on, especially from the percussion instruments, but overall, I think it's pretty good. Uh, let's move on to the drums and see what the drum sounds like. Overall, very usable. I would actually sample this and actually use those drums if I needed to, but they are not the cleanest, uh, but not really, not nothing major wrong with them. There is some type of flanger effect going on, 
but overall i think i would actually use those if i needed to um let's see what the bass sounds like Last time I did this song, I think the bass was a lot more dirty than this time around. So this time around, it actually sounds a lot cleaner. There's still that um, synth bass effect going through it. But overall, I think it sounds pretty good. Um, let's move on to the other instruments. Alright, so for the other instruments, there is a lot of bleeding through, especially from the percussion instruments. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but on the left um, field, there's a lot of the cowbells coming through, and on the right field, there's a lot of the congas coming through. So, mm, not the best job there, but again, overall, if I needed to use this like a backing track or something, I'd be okay with using that. That was just not the cleanest separation, but let's see how everything sounds together while the stems are separated and then we're gonna move on to logic. So with all the stems separated, it sounds exactly like the original mix. Um, no complaints there. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with the actual separated stems, but when you play everything together, it sounds good. So moving on to Logic, let's see how Logic handles the stem separation. All right, so now we have Logic opened up and we have our song loaded up. Let's see how it handles stem separation. And let's see how it compares to Studio One and of course, the sonic qualities. Let's see which one does it better. All right, let's jump right into it. Stem separation with Logic. Wow, that was best in comparison to Studio One. Uh, let's see how they handled the, um, the management in comparison to um, Studio One. All right, seems like a very similar situation going on here. We have a folder track that you can collapse and of course expand if you need to. And let's jump over to the mixer view. And it is a summing uh, folder. So you can actually do some processing there as well. So, all right, so separation speed wise, Logic takes it with the much faster stem separation, but um, handling the tracks or managing the tracks, as far as that goes, I think it's about equal. Both create some type of folder track that is also a bus. So you can do processing with it. And also you can collapse the tracks if you need to, to get them out of the way or expand them so you can actually focus on what you're working on. But most importantly, how do the stems compare to each other as far as cleanliness goes and usability? Let's see, we're starting with the vocals with Logic. All right, very much like Studio One, there's some type of bleeding going on through the vocals. However, the Logic version is a lot cleaner. Um, for the bleedings that are going through, I actually had to listen very hard 
to see if I could pick out what was bleeding through. And it is the same things that are coming through. It is the percussion elements that are bleeding through, but they are a lot less noticeable in Logic than they are in Studio One. Let's move on to the drums and see what the drum sounds like. No surprise, the drums are a lot cleaner here as well. Um, there's still that little bit of a flanger effect going on, but just like the vocals, they are a lot less noticeable in comparison to how Studio One handled it. But in any ways, in any case, I would be using both of them if I needed to. Either one I think would are clean enough to use if I needed to sample these drums and or use on something else, I would be okay with that. But if I had my choice, I would definitely go with the Logic version. Uh, let's move on to the bass and see what the bass sounds like. Wow, very impressed with the bass. It actually sounds just like the original tone that I was going for when I was playing this. Um, yeah, no complaints there. Now, nah, it's not exactly as clean as the original take, uh, but for the most part, it sounds like the same tone. I think we are leaning towards a landslide win for Logic here as far as sound quality goes for these stems. Let's see what the other instrument sounds like. Now, remember, there was a lot of bleeding through from the percussion elements and the other stems. Let's see. Let's see on Logic what they sound like. All right, so there was a few spots that I could hear some percussion elements and there's some spot that I could actually hear some of the vocals bleeding through on this one. Uh, but the percussion elements were not as obvious as Studio One. And I don't remember hearing the vocals in Studio One, but overall logic separation is a lot cleaner than Studio One separation. But then again, Studio One separation is fairly new. And I think over time, it's gonna get better, but for now, I'm gonna have to give the win to Logic. That is pretty much it for the video. Make sure to comment down below, let me know what you guys think, which one you think handed stem separation better. And also uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next video.